from the definition of W, we have that W is equal to V over Vm. So the big W will be equal to the V to the power of N, which is equal to the V over Vm to the power of N. Okay, so this is the, the definition of the total way to put N molecule into the W location in the volume V. Now, we will, as we discuss the free expansion, it means that the volume of the gas change from VI to VF. It means that the WI, uh, W will change from WI to WF, and the big W will change from VI over VM to the power of N to the WF equal to the VF over VM to the power of N. The ratio of VF over VI is equal to the VF over VI to the power of N. Again, we do the calculation here for the free expansion, but for the from the at one calculation, we can show that this relation and the uh, and the results from this relation can be used in general. That is the topic of the statistical mechanics. However, the free expansion process is one of the simplest example because we let the each molecule to feel freely in the cylinder. So it can take any position in the cylinder. There is no force. There is no bias to take the gas molecule to anywhere in the cylinder. It can move freely. So the assumption that we made here that W is equal to V over Vm and the W, the big W is V over Vm is obviously valid. But in the at one cost in statistical mechanics, we can say, we can show that this is valid in general. Okay. So now we have this relation for the free expansion. Next, if we take the log the natural logarithm of the, the ratio that is we take the log, natural logarithm of the WF over WI and multiply by the Boltzmann constant we have discussed this in the previous chapter and we have that is equal to the KB log of the VF over VI over N. And uh, since this is a log of the power of something, we can take N out of the, uh, the log so we have that this is equal to the n k b of the log v f over v i. Okay. This n k b can be expressed as the n small n and the n a k b of log. Vf over Vi. N is the number of mole of the gas and Na is the avocado. So N times Na is the total number of the gas N. Okay. But this Na times Kb is equal to the universal gas constant R. So we have that this is equal to the small n R of log Vf over Vi. OK. 
okay if we equate these two terms and do some algebra we will have that the k of log w f minus k of log this is k b w i is equal to n r log v f over v i but you can see that this log of n r n r time log of v f over v i is equal to the thermodynamic is equal to the change of the total dynamic entropy of the free expansion. So, from this equation, if we define we may call this the microscopic definition of entropy S is equal to the KB log W so we have that SF minus SI is equal to the N R log V F over V I. This is for the free expansion. This definition of the entropy is the general microscopic. Uh, sorry general microscopic definition of the entropy and as I have discussed before that we can use this uh, definition in general even though what we have done here is for the free expansion okay what what is interesting here is that in this definition the entropy is defined form the micro the micro state that is the number of way to put in gas okay the number of way to put n number of gas into the w number of location the small w number of location so it means that we link the thermodynamic entropy this thermodynamic entropy to the microscopic picture of the gas and from this it gives us one of the most important in the physics also that since the entropy will in always increase or uh, not change it means that the system will always try to be in the state that W is always larger or at least not change. Right. We can expand this in the microscopic picture like this. In the first picture, you can see that if you have only one molecule in the system, this molecule can be anywhere. If we divided the system into two halves, the, uh, this molecule is equally likely to be on the left part or on the right part. That is uh, obvious, obviously. Now, if you have two molecules, you can see that you can have the situation that two molecules on, are on the left, two molecules are on the right, or one molecule are on the left and on the right. You can see that the situation that two molecule, uh, one molecule are on the left and on the right, 
here we have two way or two uh, micro state and this is only one micro state so in terms of the probability it is more probable to get the system on this situation but it's not so different right now if you put three molecule in the gas if you put three molecule in the gas uh, let's go back a little bit on this now. here you can see that this is the value of big W so in the first situation the big W may be you can say that is equal to 2 the second one is the big W is equal to 4 and the third one is the big W is equal to 8 okay and for the last one you can see that the most probable situation is the situation that one molecule is on one side and two molecule is on the other side that is the situation the situation that three molecule uh, oh sorry this situation the situation that three molecule is on one side is only uh, one fourth okay <clears throat> so you can see that in this situation it's more order this is more order so the entropy of the system maybe we can say that here is less than in this situation in statistical mechanics in the statistical thermodynamic we can say that in equilibrium the system will be in the situation that has the largest micro state so it means that here the configuration in this set is has the largest probability and the system will always in this configuration Imagine that if you have 10, 20, 50, and 100 molecules and so on, it is really hard to have the configuration like this and like this. Most of the time, the gas will be in the situation that is spread out throughout the uh, cylinder. Okay, so we have this definition microscopic definition of entropy with related the thermodynamic with the microscopic picture of the gas okay we will stop uh, the discussion here because beyond this is more advanced uh, topic and you may be have to study this in the at one cause in kinetic theory of gas or the statistical thermodynamics.